Hi everyone, welcome back to my class. This is Ramana Ali. I hope you all are fine. In today's class, we are going to discuss a chapter water in our life. So we all know that water is very important for us. We cannot survive without water. It's a natural resource. We need to save water. We should not waste it because without water, we cannot even survive a single day because the water is a resource that is used by us in our daily life activities. For example, we need water to wash our clothes. We need water to clean our utensils and we need water for drinking purpose, for bathing purpose and for many other daily activities. In such a way, water is an essential component. So this is a earth and one by three parts of the earth is covered with water. And among these one by third part of the earth, we are having salty water bodies. We'll be having fresh water bodies also. We cannot consume the water which is salty. We can use only fresh water. So fresh water bodies that are found on the surface of the earth include ponds, rivers, lakes, puddles. All these are fresh water bodies that are found on the earth. And these are called as water resources. So we can get the fresh water from these water resources. And from where do these water bodies get the water? The main source of water is rainfall. So depending upon the rainfall, the water level of all these water bodies can be measured. During rainy season, the water level of all these water reservoirs increases but in the summer season due to the heat of sunlight, it gets decreases. The water level goes down. The water level of all these water reservoirs goes down. So we know that 3 by 4 of the surface of the earth is covered or it is occupied by water. So how can we measure the amount of water that is present in the water reservoirs? How can we measure the volume of the water? So often we say a glass of water, a bucket full of water or we can also say a bottle of water and generally we measure the amount of water that is present either in liters or in milliliters. So these are the units that can be used to measure the volume of water. We know that there are some tanks that are present in some villages and it can also be found in some towns and cities. So these tanks have the capacity to store gallons of water and the water reservoir also contain water. So how can we measure the volume of water uh, that is found in the water reservoir? The water that is present in the water reservoirs can be measured in feeds and the water that releases out from the dams and projects at the time of floods. So here the volume of water can be measured by using units called cubic centimeter. So the water which is released from dams and projects that is measured in cubic centimeter. In this way, volume of water can be measured by using the different units like liters, milliliters, gallons, feet and even cubic centimeter. If the proper amount of water is not available in a particular area and the soil of that particular area becomes dry, we cannot do any agricultural practices in that soil. So what that condition can be called? We can call that condition as droughts. So droughts are the conditions where availability of the water becomes scarce and the soil becomes dry. We cannot do any agricultural practices over there and the land becomes waste. So if we cannot do any agricultural practices over that land, can we able to produce the food products? No, we cannot get any plants. We cannot grow any plants on that land. So we cannot get any food material. In such a way, we cannot get proper amount of the food. We cannot even have proper amount of the water there. So that type of areas are called as drought prone areas. And in our state, Anantapur and Mehboob Nagar, these two districts were considered as drought prone areas because there is no proper amount of water 
present. So in such a way, if the soil becomes dry, if we find the cracks due to the unavailability of the water and if the land becomes waste where we cannot grow any crops, this type of condition is called as droughts. It is very difficult to get food and fodder. We cannot do any agriculture here, so we cannot get food and fodder from there. And even drinking water is scarce. And the people who are totally dependent on agriculture, they lose their job. They will suffer with many problems. And due to this, they migrate to some other places in search of job. So in this way, drought is a condition that disturbs the whole lifestyle of many people. The farmers, they depend on the agriculture practice only. If the droughts occur, then it's a condition that disturbs their whole lifestyle and we cannot get proper amount of food. The drinking water becomes scarce and even the people, they need to migrate to the other places in search of job. In such a way, drought is a condition that brings out many, many problems in our surrounding. Okay, let us see how these droughts are affecting the human life. Water scarcity is a problem that can be seen in many districts of our state. So due to this water scarcity, the farmers, they are dependent on underground water to raise the crops. They are digging up the wells to trap the underground water. So if they are going to use underground water in an excess amount, then there is a reduction that can be causes in the underground water level. If the underground water level reduces, then it can cause many different problems in the environment. So if we want to reduce the problems that occurs due to water scarcity like droughts, then we need to save the water. Let us discuss about the topic wasting water unwisely. If we waste the water unwisely, that means if we pump the water unwisely, then it leads to the problems like droughts. So we should not waste even a single drop of water because water is very important for our day-to-day -day life activities and water is very precious so we need to save the water not only for us but also for our future generation if we save the water then it reduces many different problems in our surroundings now we are going to discuss about the topic wasting water unwisely so if we waste water unwisely that means if we uh, pump the water unwisely then it leads to water scarcity water becomes scarce and we cannot preserve the water for the future generation if we use water unwisely so we need to save water we should not waste even a single drop of water we should preserve the water not only for us but also for our future generation so we must save the water we should not waste the water if you see that water is running in your home so you should go and close the tap in this way you can save the water so saving water is a very important practice that is our duty water is very precious we should save the water we should preserve it for our future generation now let us talk about killer covers killer covers are nothing but polythene covers nowadays many food items and the other products they are packed in polythene bags these polythene bags are called as killer covers because they cannot be decomposed easily in the soil. We know that these are disposable but they cannot compose easily into the soil and they obstruct. So they prevent the water flow through canals and also through some drainages during rainy season. If the water cannot flow through canals and drainages easily because of the presence of killer covers it leads to hazardous problem which is called as floods it causes floods you might have seen some pictures during a uh, rainy season of the natural hazardous problem called floods these floods are caused due to the blockage of canals and drainages during rainy season so if we want to prevent these problems then we should avoid using polythene covers which are called as killer covers. Instead of using polythene bags, we can use or we can go for cloth bag 
or jute bags to carry the goods in them. The floods are the natural cause that disturbs the human life. It destroys the different things that can be used by the human beings to survive on the earth. So in this way, the floods, it is going to disturb the whole lifestyle of a human being and it can create a lot of problems to the human life. So if we want to prevent the problems or the hurdles causes due to the floods to the human life, we should avoid using polythene bags. We should save the water and we should use jute bags or the cloth bag to carry goods instead of using polythene bags. In such a way, we can prevent the problems like droughts and floods. So this is about the lesson water in our life. In this lesson, we have seen how the water is important in carrying out our daily activities like in washing clothes, cleaning utensils or for drinking purpose. So all these are the daily activities which requires water. Without water, we cannot survive on the earth. We have also seen how much amount of water is present on the surface of the earth. And we have also seen how can we measure the volume of water. So the volume of water can be measured by using the different units like cubic centimeter, liters or milliliters. And even we can measure the volume of water in feeds. And in this lesson, we have also discussed about certain conditions like droughts due to which the human beings have to face many, many problems. Like uh, we cannot get proper food due to the condition called drought. So drought is a condition where the soil becomes dry and we cannot go for agriculture practices in that soil. We cannot grow or raise uh, the different plants in that soil. So if we cannot grow plants, then we cannot get proper food and even the drinking water becomes scarce. So if we do not get proper amount of water, so we cannot live on the earth. We cannot survive on the earth without food and water. Food and water are very essential components to survive on the earth. So we must save the water to prevent the conditions called drought. So here the lesson water in our life ends. I'll be back with a new lesson in the next session. Thank you.